Right, I'm going to have a go at working on some of the slightly scruffy areas of sinew on this horn bow. Uh, mostly around the grip, there's bits here where it's not really well stuck down and there's cavities. I'll sort of fill that and soak it with glue and perhaps bind it with some rope or something just to keep it tight while it goes off. There's this dry area there and there's a sort of slight void here. I'll put a bit of sinew in there and probably just sort of paint it over generally with nice thin hide glue. What I have done is I've blended in the levers a bit more. Now that is still way too thick. Looking at the pictures in the Carperitz book then this belly edge of the lever is almost down to like a like a V, like a knife edge almost. But I've followed my usual adage of if you take off half as much as you think you should, you've still got room, you know, to quit while you're ahead or to take it further if you want. If you do too much then it's hard to backtrack. Oh, I've just rounded the tips a little. They still look very you know, agricultural, ugly as sin. But like I say, I can work them down later. I've got the hide glue going in this deep fat fryer. It's just a little little one I got from the range ages ago. It's very handy because you, you've got water in there that's being held at 70 degrees C. An old sort of jam jar with the glue in it. Just slowly dissolving and keeping it warm. The book suggested a 10% glue, which is sort of water thin, which I thought was probably a little thin for what I want, because uh, he uses the, the the very thin water thin stuff for like the original coating of materials, what you call it, sizing or what have you, and then a thicker solution the actual glue up so I thought I'll compromise I mixed it up at 10% and it, it didn't seem to want to gel and it, it, it just seemed too thin and um, that was mixed up with this sort of pearl glue hide glue whatever that came with all the stuff I had from the boat and I've got my own which was a Liberon uh, pearl glue this is that's what it is some German firm what also came with this was some of this stuff which is, when I looked it up, the Sturgeon Sturgeon Swim Bladder which is like your pucker top of the range fish glue so having mixed up my glue a bit thin what I did was I took one of these, snipped it into little bits and put it in there to melt down and thicken up. It's incredibly tough. I had to use tin snips to cut through that. It's interesting stuff. Anyway, so what I'll do is that once this is all fully gone nice and gloopy, yeah, once that's all, I think that's nearly there already. I'll give it a bit longer. Then I'll start work with some of the bits of sinew. Fill in the gaps, painting it. Oh, there's some of the sinew I've got already prepared. Most of this stuff I've actually already got myself, but in smaller quantities uh, or of different make or what have you. In fact, over here, so let's go to my magic drawers. Yeah, there's my that's my glue. So it's a rounder pellets. Liberon pearl glue. I mean, I've used that before. I've only done any real sinewing once. I sinewed the back of a little ash bow. Just really just to try it out. You can see I've spot calibrated my deep fat fryer for 70 degrees C. Which is what you want for. You don't want to overcook your hide glue. Get it too hot and it'll spoil it. But I can't remember how much that deep fat fryer was. It was cheap as chips. And it works quite well. I mean, I've lent it to people and I've had that for years and years now. But, um, right, I'll show you a bit more when I actually start doing something. Oh, 
I might add extra sinew to the um, back of the handle area as well. So I felt I, that it was flexing a little bit when I was um, trying to string the bow. And this is just really letting me have a play with the glue, give, it, give me a feel of what it does. But if I can saturate some of these scruffy areas. Help glue down some of these loose threads. See if we can get some of this. Some of these sinew threads. Tease out some bit. Dip them in the glue. And if it if it's saturated with glue sufficiently, then the sinew all becomes sort of one homogeneous mass. Yeah, I don't think I needed to add that. Um, fish bladder really because it's gelling nicely now I can feel it's really gelling well it's well gel as they say in the modern vernacular just um, it's probably not very exciting for you to watch there's a cat just come through she'd probably like a nice dried fish bladder to chew on Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's quite good. You can sort of blend it in and stroke it with your fingers. Strokey, strokey. You can hear us scratching my target boss. Yeah, I'm out of camera shot there. Well, hopefully you've been able to see some of that, what I'm doing. Stop the video now because no point in seeing endless stuff the same.